you know, what advice do you have to people about transitioning from Get this. when they're actively tattooing to where they're maybe talking about putting the machines away? Like, do you, do you have any advice that you give to people that, uh, you know... Uh, Don't do it. What's that? Quit. Yeah. <laughs> I quit, and, and I immediately had a heart attack, almost died, and I immediately started tattooing again. And uh, I tell you what, you got to stay busy, you know. And, and what I do to stay busy is tattoo and paint. You know, I, the motorcycle thing, yeah, I love riding the motorcycles and this and that and whatever, but I got to stay busy. And my health is such right now where I can barely do anything, but I still go to the shop and work three shifts a week, you know. And, I mean, to me, that's semi-retired. I mean... I I worked six shifts a week for the last 40, 50 years. You still at Shamrock on Mondays? Uh, I, would, I would like to be, but right now I'm not able a break. to be because yeah. of my health. But, yeah, I eventually will go back to working at Shamrock once I start feeling better. Yeah. Do, you, do you have anything that you do for your back to keep your back from? Because I know that that's an issue that a lot of guys face when as they get older. You know, just the, the hunching over tends to catch up to them do you do you do anything do you stretch at all or, or are I, you pretty blessed to have a back that's uh he probably yeah. just lays down yeah right <laughs> <laughs> keep it up two, two massage tables he just lays down you know? next to each other that's what you, you do know, for your back it, you know you got a back problem to lay down <laughs> it it's sort of funny you, because you look at all the older tattooers that are my age and and in my era of tattooing and they don't have fucked up backs. And the reason they don't have fucked up backs is because of the new technology. In our day, when you tattooed, you used acetate stencil and you had to grab the skin from behind and stretch it. And when you're doing that, you're pulling towards you, which does not put a stress on your back. The kids nowadays, they all use armrests. They tattoo people on tables. They never are pulling. They're always pushing. And whenever you push, it puts a strain on your lower back. So I'm a firm believer that the reason that the newer tattooers have fucked up backs is because of the armrests and pushing. Because back in our day, the only time you pushed was when you are doing something small on a chest or a back. And not even as much on a back because you could make them stretch it a little bit and you could pull a little bit and it wasn't too bad. So mainly on the chest and stomach. And in those cases back in those days, you had a helper that would help you stretch because with the acetate, you really couldn't stretch like they do nowadays because you would tear up the acetate stencil. You know, because it's just powder on the yeah, skin. Yeah, lines would separate too much. Yeah, so you got to get somebody pulling from far away mm -hmm. to get the skin tight. I noticed that about a lot of young people, including people my age. Uh, every time they go somewhere, they got to yeah. lean on something. I blame that on the acetate. And it's, I think or it has a lot the, to do with on the, the acetate stencil. Yeah. No, on the armrests. <laughs> it's it's because of uh, it's because of just you know objects or things. You know, people lean up against them. You push down on the armrest. When arm you push it, on the it table. strains your lower back. Yeah. See, and that's no, why people that. are having back. I mean, it makes sense. I guarantee you. Because I don't have back problems. Occasionally, I will sleep on my back wrong, and I'll get a kink in it because I'm getting old, you know. Get. But I, I don't have back problem per se. You know what I mean? I don't wake up every morning with a sore back. Right. You know, if I bend the wrong way and I get stuck in one position, and I wake up the next morning, I might have a kink in my back, and I take a couple of leave, and the next day I'm fine. 